Catherine. This is Laura Kraut. Um, thank you so much for submitting a video. Um, this is such a great cause and um, it's really nice of you to donate your money and uh, hopefully I can be of some help. I've watched your video a couple of times. Um, your horse looks very, very sweet. From your note, it sounds like you've been doing the hunters, um, which he looks like he's he's got a lovely way of going as a hunter. Um, and your hope after quarantine to move into the jumpers is a great goal to have. And I hope it happens sooner rather than later. A um, couple things before we start the video is uh, uh, the idea of switching from the hunters to the jumpers can sometimes be an easy transition. Um, and then sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult just because perhaps your horse is not going to adapt to it as quickly. Um, so I think that first and foremost, um, what it looks like to me is you've got a sol solid foundation. Your position seems solid. Your eye seems to work well. You have a good uh, feeling for the distance. The first thing that I would say is your horse goes very low on his front end. So he's he's got a great way for a hunter in that he carries himself you know, with his nose out, his head down, neck down for the jumpers. You're, you're wanting to lift that balance up. So you're wanting him to want to work more on his hind end rather than his front end. The hind end is where the power comes from. And the power is what they need to jump bigger jumps in the show jumping end of it. Now, that being said, you would obviously start at a lower level of show jumping. So probably in the one meter or one meter ten. Um Still, that being said, you want to start to try to shift his balance more to the hind end than to the front end. That can work in several different ways. Uh, one, you're going to want to learn to get yourself a little bit more grounded in the saddle. So you're going to want to sit a little bit more rather than being in that nice forward hunter seat. You're going to have to adopt a little bit more of a jumper seat. Um, that's going to help your your strength and your core strength and upper body and it's going to hopefully help him to raise up just a little bit to start to move on to his hawks and then obviously a lot of different sort of flat work um a lot of transitions a lot of work from the leg getting that hind end underneath him so forward extensions and then downward transitions trying to really think about using the seat and the leg with the hand uh, to get his hind end to just stay connected and get stronger. I think all of those little exercises uh, and, and a little bit of a change in your position will hopefully enable him to adapt to what his new job would be, which is jumping maybe a little bit bigger jump, a little bit faster at times, off shorter approaches, um, and thinking quicker. So I'm going to start your video now, and I'm just watching as, as you're canning towards the first jump. And you can just see even there where you're a little bit in a, in a half seat. Um, I think probably what you're going to want to do is learn to strengthen your leg a little bit because it swings just a touch as you're heading to this next vertical. Um, I think for riding the jumpers, all in all, you do need a little bit more strength of body. But that being said, you know, you're putting him to the jumps nicely. And you can see what I'm talking about, the way his nose is down and his neck is down. And you're forward in a, in a good forward hunter seat, which is perfect for what you're doing. I love the way your hands are. They're nice and smooth. And he looks really happy doing his job, which is what everyone loves to see in a hunter. Um, but I think as, as I'm watching this video... You can you can see if you watch, say, this video and then maybe pull up a video on YouTube of a jumper, you're going to see a different balance for the horse. So their, their head and neck is going to come up a bit. Their hind end is going to be underneath them. And, and again, that's what helps them to jump. So I think uh, just upon reviewing the video one more time, I think... Uh, a lot of work without stirrups, get your leg really strong because a strong leg helps you have a strong seat, which then helps you have a strong back and so on and so forth. And that's going to help you have the strength to help him lighten up. Um, once again, he looks like an adorable horse. You look like you have a good future ahead of you. 
And I'm really happy to hear about people with goals because I think everyone needs to have one. And best of luck to you. Thank you again. Bye-bye.